What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're going to be drawing Baby Sonic from Sonic the Hedgehog. Let's get started in the center of our page with the lower eyelid. So we're starting on the left side. We're going to draw a curve. Starting from the outside, we're going to come down and then just pull that up on the inside. Let's leave a gap in the center and draw the same thing on the right. So we're going to line this up, curve down, and then back up on the outside. Now we're going to go back to the left and draw on the upper eyelid. Starting on the outside, we're going to draw a half oval. We're going to go all the way up towards the top, round this out, and then come down and in on the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going all the way up to the top, round it out, and then come down. Now we're going to push the iris in towards the inside of the eye. So starting on the left side, we're going to draw a circle. We're going to go all the way around, down towards the bottom, and then just pull that up on the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going up, down around the side, and then up on the inside. And then we'll add a small highlight circle on the top left of each eye. Starting at the top, we'll work our way around, and then back out. We'll line this up on the right, and do the same thing. And then we'll add a smaller circle in the center of the iris for the pupil. So we start underneath the highlight, go all the way around, then back out, and then we'll do the same thing on the right. Coming down, and then out, and then we'll fill the pupils in black. Let's move in between the eyes and draw a small oval for the nose. We're going to start at the very top, come around down towards the bottom, and then up towards the top. Now from the inside corner of the eye, it's going to curve up and in behind the nose on both sides. Let's add a small circle on the top left of the nose. And then we'll fill the bottom area in black. And then we'll move down and draw in the mouth. Let's start on the left side. Start by curving down in the middle. And then back up on the right. We're going to add a small bracket on the corners of the mouth. And then we'll move out towards the outside corners of the eye and round out the cheeks. Let's start on the left side. We're going to go out, round it out, and then pull that in. And do the same thing on the right. Let's go back to the left and draw on the bottom of the head. We come down in the middle, underneath the mouth, round this out, and then go up on the right. And then from the top of the cheeks, we're going to round out the side of the head. Let's start on the left side. We're going to curve out around the eye and then just pull that in. Let's go to the right side. We're going to draw a curve going about halfway up, right about there. And then we'll add the ear on the left side. Starting at the top of the head, we curve out and then go straight up. Now I'm just going to pull this in and then down on top of the head. Now we're going to line this up on the right side and do the same thing. We're going to go up and then out and we'll curve down and then in towards the side of the head. Now let's draw the inside of the ear. We're going to start at the very top, step in, we're going to follow that curve coming down towards the bottom of the ear, go back to the top, follow that curve going up towards the top. Now we're going to close off the inside with a curve going up and then in. Let's do the same thing on the right. Start with the inside, we'll come down along the side, and we'll close off the bottom with a curve. And now we're going to brush the spikes over towards the right side. Let's start on the inside edge of the left ear. Start by going up towards the top, round it out, and then come down towards the right. And now we're going to taper this back in, aiming towards the bottom corner of the ear. We're going to go up, and then just pull that into right about there. Let's add two more spikes. Starting in here, curve out, and then down. And then we're going to taper that back up. Going up and in. Let's add one more. Going out and then down. And we'll pull this up and in underneath the right side of the head. Go up and pull that in. Now I'm going to move down and draw an oval for the center of the body. Starting underneath the head. Turn the middle. We're going to curve around towards the bottom of the oval. 
then we'll pull that back up towards the top. And we're going to move out and draw on the side of the body. Lined up with the top of the oval, step over towards the left, curve out, and we'll just pull that in to right about there. Line this up on the right, we're going to go in the opposite direction, going out and then in. And then from the bottom of the oval, we're going to step down, draw a curve, coming down and then up. And then we're going to leave a gap in the center, go to the left side, go out, and then bend that down towards the left heel, move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right heel. Let's round out the bottom of the feet. We're going to start from the heel, we're going to come down and then bend the foot going up towards the toe. And do the same thing on the right. I'm going to go back to the left and draw on the top of the foot. Starting from the toe, we're going to draw a half circle going up. I'm just going to pull this down, aiming towards the heel, stop right about there. And I'm just going to bend that back up towards the inside of the leg. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting from the toe, go up towards the top, round this out, come down, and then we'll bend that back up towards the inside. Now we're going to go back up to the hips and round out the side of the leg. Let's start on the left side. We're going to go out and then down on top of the foot. Let's add some detail to the shoes. We start by adding a thick sole along the bottom of the foot. We want to take this curve, step up, and then just trace that across on both sides. And then we'll add a stripe going across the shoe. Starting at the very top, curve in and then down towards the sole. Step out and just follow that same curve. Let's do the same thing on the right. From the top of the foot, curve in and down. Step out and draw that twice. And now from the top of the foot, we're going to step up, starting from the outside of the leg, come down and then bend that up for the edge of the socks. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. Now let's move up and draw on the arms. We're going to start with the arm on the left holding a flower. So from the top of the body, we're going to step up underneath the head, draw a curve, coming down and then out. And then from here, we're going to draw a small half circle for the top of the cuff. Let's add in the thumb. From the outside of the cuff, we're going to start by going up, round up the thumb. We're just going to round up the tip and then go back up. And then we'll add three fingers on the outside. Let's start with the one on the top. Starting from the side of the thumb, draw a half oval, going out, and then pulling that back in. We'll add two more fingers, starting on the outside at the bottom, curve out, down, and pull that up underneath the thumb. Let's do that one more time. Let's go back up to the top of the wrist and draw on the palm. We'll start by coming down, I'm just going to hook that in, I'm going to step back to create an overlap, come down and we'll pull that up underneath the bottom finger. Let's go back up to the top of the cuff, come down, go out, and then round this out going up underneath the palm. And then we'll draw on the bottom of the arm. From the bottom of the cuff, we'll step up, just curve in and up in behind the body. Let's add that flower on top of the hand. Starting in between the finger and thumb, draw a curve going up and then out. And then we'll draw two leaves along the bottom. Starting at the bottom here, we're going to curve up and out towards the left. Go back to the bottom, curve up and in towards the right. Let's go back to the left side. We're going to curve down and then in towards the middle. Go back to the right, come down and in behind the thumb. Let's go back up to the top and add a circle for the center of the flower. Starting from the top of the stem, we go all the way around and then back in. And now we'll surround that circle with the petals. Starting over on the left, we're going to angle up and in, and then come back down. That's another one aiming out. Starting on the left, go out, same thing on the inside, and come down and in toward the side of that circle. Let's add one pointing straight out. Going out, and then back in. And we'll add one more along the bottom coming down. Just pull that up in the middle. Now let's move over and draw the right arm coming down the side of the body. Let's line up the arm on the inside, curve out and then down towards the cuff. Draw a small half circle. 
Now from the bottom of the cuff, we're going to draw a slightly larger half circle for the thumb. And at the end, we'll add a bracket. Now we're going to add three fingers, starting from the bottom of the thumb, come down and up around that bracket, step down, curve across and up. Now the third finger, we're just going to go around the hand and up towards the wrist. Let's connect the inside to the outside with a curve, going out and then bending that up. Now we're going to draw a small half circle on the outside of the arm. And again, we're going to connect the inside to the outside with another curve. Now we're going to move back up underneath the head on the right. We're going to curve the arm going out and then down in behind the cuff. Let's add the tail over on the right hip. Starting up here, start by curving up and out. Then we'll taper that down and in behind the leg. And that's pretty much it. There's Baby Sonic from Sonic the Hedgehog. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your request in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.